phone and um, now okay so but why is that in that chapter the, the, the point is is that the, the Saturday night I try hard not to offend people but also try really hard not to be offended so you know it's kind of sucks what he said but now I'm not going to ask for him to be denounced or I don't want I'm not demanding an apology an apology I don't care if they apologize it's like my life goes on either way that's sort of how I, I stated that and uh, no, he shouldn't be fired. Get the guy right off the bat. You have to acknowledge that he was screwed up. And um, but on the other hand, you, that he may have made a mistake, like he may have missed the show. If I had really stoked the outrage mob, um, why would they? And that's a problem for our culture. Um, and, and and the reason Americans liked the whole SNL moment with me and Pete was because it was the right balance for them, you know, my conservative fan base. And is that yeah, those politicians are bad people for forgiving that there's no incentive to actually react the way you should react. Not apologizing or apologizing. You get back to the middle ground where it's like, I'm kind of sorry, but I'm not really sorry. You know, there's some good example. Cowboys game. She didn't apologize. She wasn't like, you know, unlike the extreme apology, where I just have to be aspiring to. And in that world, that's not always the case. A lot of people are thinking, Whatever, I shouldn't yeah, even be in trouble. I was going to say, since I was in a position where a lot of times I was debriefing people and telling them that they screwed something up, and go, that didn't really matter. That wouldn't have them. They don't take ownership of it. They, they feel more shame. Exactly. They feel like... And there's a rationalization that you have to hunt a very bad path at that point. And again, this... this yeah, you know who you are. <laughs> You're out there. <laughs> yeah, you're saying it here, we should feel a sense of shame for not training hard enough, for sleeping in too late, for eating that extra scoop of ice, or be accountable for everything you do. It was why Commander Joe talked to colleges sometimes, too, and you, and you mentioned, you know, you were talking about the kind of crowd that comes in to see, I mean, the kind of crowd that comes in to see Candace Owens or Ben Shapiro. Sure, there's people that want to see them that have, like, a conservative viewpoint, but they probably attract at least as many, if not more, lunatics. Yeah. And it's, I, I've seen it happen less over time, also because, you know, with Ben and Candace and Charlie Cartier, that is kind of what they're looking for, because they want the debate to happen on camera. Um, I, I personally, I, I want people on the left to come and debate me, and I'm going to, you know, that's what I want. It's just a bunch of people there agreeing with me that I'm not, I'm not, I'm not making a lot of progress. It's, it's really just a rally at that point. And uh, there, there's value in that too, but, but we are going there for the confrontation. Um, I just wanted to be respectful and fact-based. And, and, um, and it's not always that way. I've had some interesting experiences where it's just, it just evolves. I know what you're talking about, you know, so, like it's, so I do it. And it's, um, but uh, I enjoy it quite a bit. Um, so that, you know, but okay, but back to the, the original question, which is the moment where the big development of the victim that actually, by the way, you talk to modern military commanders, is a problem with, you know, a younger generation. They're seeing these differences in how it is that I feel like I have to earn my way, then, or the organization itself has a duty to them.